for the sign of Leo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Some trust issues here. Yeah, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Um, or maybe you're not trusting a situation. Something's got you kind of stressed out about. Something that you just feel is not quite right. But let's get into the reading. Let's see what's see. Let's see where this is coming from. What's going on? Or what's going on towards the end of June? Now, for the present time, like I said, towards the end of June. This is for the last week of June. We got the star card, and it's with the page of Pentacles. Now, the star card, you can find that you're feeling inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have felt in a while. Uh, you'll be feeling confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial, or it could be both. They're being met. Just know that nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced, and this is a very spiritual card also. So you could find yourself feeling at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so you just might want to try to savor it. Now the star card is with the page of pinnacles. Now, yeah, you see this young man, he's got a pinnacle in his hand. And when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that means cash, coins, money, finance. And also when you hear the word page, in the tarot it means a student someone younger than you youth immaturity so this card is about boredom in some ways you could be tempted to say or do things that shake things and people up for a little excitement but you just might want to rethink the impulse and find a better use of your energy because we know excitement it can be created we all know that so this is a excellent energy to support you when you have um, tedious work to get accomplished it gives focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So basically the star card and the page of pinnacles coming up for you towards the end of June. It could go into July. Um, it looks like you'll be letting go of any grief of the past, it's release. Any grief that you had about a past person or a situation from the past, it looks like it's release. Are you gonna try to release it? Because this star card is about feeling rejuvenated. And you're gonna have a lot of hope, a, whole, a lot of hope and faith. And it's about renewal, renewed energy. So, um, you could also feel like um, maybe you feel a little bored towards the end of June with this page of Pentacles here. So, you might start to do silly things or things that people find annoying just for some fun. Now, these two cards could be you or the person you're dealing with. So, let's get more clarity on these two cards before we could really figure out if that's you or your person. So for now we'll move on over to how your person sees you. They see you like the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Six of Pentacles is about a turn for the better. Particularly when it comes to money. Uh, it's one of the most positive Pentacle cards. It speaks of equality, fairness, the nature of life. So you're likely to be heading in a real positive cycle, not just a positive day or not just a positive time, but a whole positive cycle. It's about This card is about generosity, meaning that you are either about to become the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. So this is how your person sees you. They see you as, well, they see this as a good relationship. That's what the Six of Pentacles is about. Um, or they could see you as very giving. They see this relationship 
prospering or they wanted to prosper. Now they also see like the Ten of Swords, which is a sign that you have to be careful about where you put trust. Where you put your trust. The Ten comes up in relationship. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can trust what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, it's a pretty clear answer of no. As you can see, this man, he's on his... Looks like he's a... Uh, He's face down and he's got all these swords stabbed in his back. Yeah, so trust is crucial. So if you feel like you cannot trust that a situation is stable, it's, you probably cannot. But try to keep in mind that when one door closes, another door opens. You're more than likely being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. So they see you as fi feeling defeated. Something is um, ruined. They see you hitting a painful ending. So something rock bottom. You're feeling rock bottom here. And but they see that um, you're a good relationship. And, um, or you're just very giving. Um, they could also see you wanting this connection to prosper, but you don't really trust this connection. But you want it to be a good relationship. Now, let's take a look at how you see them. You see them like the Fool card and the Moon. So the Fool card, it's an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways, it indicates the purity, open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting and trust. It forms the meaning for this card. It's considered a positive card, but there could be one thing. It's important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing, but if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. I don't know if you can see the picture. Let me flash the light on it. This young man, he's looks like he could be hiking in the mountains, and he's just feeling so carefree and footloose and fancy and... Uh, just he's having an open-hearted spell cast upon him and he looks like he's about to walk off of a cliff way up in the mountains now what's below him is a uh, is all blue water you probably can't see it yep it looks like a huge ocean maybe the Pacific Ocean and that's where he's about to land so it's about taking a leap just jumping right in yeah, but it's saying be careful. Watch where you're going. Watch, watch your steps, because it could be a big mistake if you just jump right into something. But you see your person like this, they they just jump right into stuff without giving it much thought. Y yeah, if you're mad on at them, sometimes you probably wish they led into the Pacific Ocean but anyway you see them just having the open-hearted energy of a the innocence of a child and they just go for whatever they just take a leap on anything they're a risk taker that's how you see your person you can see them as a that's the type that might run off. <laughs> they just might. They could be a traveler. Um, they just they just always willing to take a leap. Now they could be w willing to take a leap towards you, but I'm getting this I'm getting this energy that it's a leap towards almost anything. They just jump right in, risk taker type. Now, it's with the Moon card. Now, the Moon card, it's about um, being psychic, intuitive, more than usual. 
So it's important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you don't know where it's coming from. Also, not that you not that you need to be mistrusting, but it will be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems. And if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. It's about going with your gut. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it may take longer than you would like for it to. So this uh, little card, it's about deception. Wearing a mask. You can feel like they're wearing a mask. They don't really say how they really truly feel. Um, yeah. And that they... They just jump right into things, and you feel like you, you could see them as being deceptive. So, let's take a look at why it's happening. Now, we got this Nine of Pentacles, which is a beautiful card in the tarot, but it's with this Nine of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting, encouraging cards in the tarot. It can mean that your financial worries are over for a while. And that things will be going better than you thought possible. So enjoy this good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. It's an excellent card when it comes to love. If you're committed, it can uh, rise to new heights of intimacy and joy. And if you're single and looking... This card, it tells you that someone who has what it takes to be in a new, meaningful, deep love could be headed your way soon. They could be coming in. So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Um, yeah, um, Nine of Pentacles is good. Uh, the connection... Could move to new, to look, it could move to the next level, new heights of intimacy and joy, or this is what you're wanting, or your person is wanting. And as with the nine of swords, um, you need to guard against feelings of anxiety with the nine of swords here. Um, you could be feeling anxious. Take a good look whether or not any of it's under your own power or control, and try to lessen it. And if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. Because there's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is. So there's hardship here. With this Knight of Nine of Swords, um, could be somebody might be having nightmares, anxiety, grief. But with the Nine of Pentacles, someone uh, wants this connection to go to the next level, or someone is hoping that it does. Or let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. So. Leo, it looks like your person, they see you like this wonderful um, Six of Pentacles. You could be a, a very giving type or um, Six of Pentacles is a, a good relationship. So they see you as wanting this relationship to be good or they find this relationship good with you or you're very giving and they you could they see you as wanting um, this connection to prosper but they see that you don't trust this connection you got trust issues here with the ten of swords showing up so a lot of times you feel defeated and sometimes you feel the connection is ruined it's failed. And like I said, uh, you see them as, uh, they tend to just jump right into things. Yeah. It could be several things. Things that are good for them, things that are bad for them. They just take a leap on whatever. <laughs> yeah. I would normally say they, they this person wants to take a leap towards you or this connection. 
But the cut, this, um, he's facing the opposite direction of how they see you. So this person just takes a leap onto anything. Uh, yeah. Now he's with the Page of Pentacles. So th they're probably, this person I'm picking up, it might be younger than you because the Page is about immaturity. So they also do things that really annoy you. The Page of Pentacles is about doing silly stuff that just don't make sense. A lot of times you, you can't understand why they did what they did. And then a lot of times they just jump into stuff. And then the, um, you feel like you can't trust trust them. And you feel like they're deceitful. They wear a mask. They don't really say how they feel. And it looks like um, it also causes uh, you anxiety by this person's actions but you're looking for your nine of pentacles you're looking for the relation you're looking for this relationship to be better than it is okay maybe move up a notch or just become better than it is you see that this relationship needs some star energy it needs to be rejuvenated any grief that you had or have with this person it needs to be released so you see this connection it needs to be worked on there needs to be some inner clarity brought to this connection there need to be some um, some hope, some renewal, so that faith is restored in this connection. And um, yeah, you it looks like you want it to be a good relationship with the Six of Pentacles here. Um, you're re you're willing to do your part of giving, but um, your person they. I'm picking up they're younger than you. I see two two cards that are indicating that they it could have some immaturity there. And it causes the things they do. They just do silly stuff. They jump right into things. And they ugh, it could feel like sometimes they with this page of pinnacles. They just do things to shake things up for a little excitement. Just immaturity. I'm going to use the word immaturity. It seems like you're dealing with someone who's immature. And they could be younger than you and they 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 may or they may not be younger than you. But what I'm getting really strong in this reading is that someone's really immature. And it just causes you to feel like this connection is ruined and defeated and then they don't always say what they feel or you feel like they don't always speak the truth it causes nightmares and anxiety and you it looks like you're so you're really so much hoping that this could be or could have been a good relationship you were willing to be the giver but your person is just immature so it looks like you could be looking to become re rejuvenated and experience hope and faith again. Could be with this person. Maybe you just realize that that's what you two need to work on. But yeah, it looks like um, this is not going to be for all Leos. Just for a certain f few of you. You're dealing with someone that's really immature. And they don't really, sp you feel like they don't really speak the truth a lot. There's some deception, and it just makes you feel like, makes you feel like, why bother? Just fall out on your face and just collapse and, and just realize that you cannot trust the situation. That's what it looks like here. So like I said, it's not going to resonate with all of you. Just for a few of you, someone need to hear it, so I'm going to put it out there.
put it out there, put it out there.